What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today is going to be a really fun one because I just picked up five secondhand books from the secondhand shop and we're going to set these on fire, take some photos of that. The reason I got secondhand books is because I just feel better knowing that these have already been read and I just don't really want to burn books that are new if that makes any sense. I, I just feel better knowing that someone's already read these and used this so it's like well it's okay to burn these now. So we're gonna head out to the tunnel, set these on fire, hopefully get some really nice leading lines in that tunnel because it's really big, really long. We're gonna go when it's dark so there's no people there to get in the way. And um, yeah, I think, I think that's basically the plan. So we're gonna head out when it's dark. It's currently like sunset right now. So we'll see you guys in a few hours. That's our photo location right there, right next to the highway. What? We just gotta get down there now. You're gonna slip and fall. You're so close, you can do it. Literally right here. There we go. Okay guys, so we've made it to the location now and I mean, just look at it behind me. Like, I think this is a pretty sweet spot. I think if we get Ben to sit in the middle with the books on fire, um, I think that'll just create just an epic photo. So that's what we're gonna do. I did bring a fire extinguisher just in case something does go wrong, even though this is like all cement and metal and it's really echoey, but um, you never know. So that's why we brought this. And now all we have to do is set Ben up in the middle, get the camera out, light the books on. F do you have a lighter? Just kidding, I got a lighter. So <laughs> um, yeah, let's set Ben up, let's get the camera out. Let's start taking some photos. We're gonna be using the 85 mil for this because I think it'll just give us some nice compression and just really make the tunnel, I don't know, it'll just, it, I think it'll look sick. That's why we're gonna use it. I don't really know, but uh, stick this on the camera, start taking some photos. Sick. Okay, let's take some more photos. So lighting these books on fire just creates so much smoke. So I think we're gonna do one more. And this time I think a good idea will be to get Ben to actually blow into the book whilst it's on fire. I think that might create a lot of ash flying around and lots of particles, which will be a really cool photo. So I think we're gonna get you to blow on this one. And then we're gonna get out of here before people come and check out what's going on because I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look good. And I feel like we could get in trouble if the, like the fire brigade came. So, last one, you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Okay you guys, so I think all those photos were just unreal. I think the ones of Ben blowing into the book were probably the best. They, they, I can't even talk, they look so sick. But now we're gonna get out of here before we get in trouble. I think the smoke was kind of a lot. And I will see you guys back home on the computer. So overall, I'm really happy with how this shoot turned out. I ended up taking way too many photos, so I had to pick a few to show you guys, but Let's just, let's just jump right into it, I'll show you guys. So this is the first photo and I really like it because there's lots of particles and it's, it's really close so there's not too many leading lines but mostly for the particles, Ben blowing into the book, I think that's just awesome photo. Next one is probably my favorite because there's lots of smoke in the air, you can see it because it's being lit up by the lights. There's leading lines because it's kind of further back and I think overall epic photo. I think this is perfectly what I was looking for and I'm gonna post this one to my Instagram. Next one is similar, it's basically the same thing, but Ben looking at the camera, 
And then the last one is kind of a different angle with the with the ash flying off the book. I think that looks awesome as well. So I think the 85 was a great choice for this shoot because it just creates so much compression. And I think it looks awesome in this photo here because it just, it like amplifies the leading lines and just, it's so sharp too. Like why wouldn't you use that? Anyways, those are all the photos. Now I'm gonna be announcing the winners for the print giveaway. I'm gonna be pulling up a website here and I'll, it'll, blah, blah, blah. it's like a random comment picker. So pull that up and let's do this. So I'm just gonna Google random YouTube, oh, I can't spell, YouTube comment picker. I've already used this before. And let's see if it loads. YouTube comment picker. Enter a link. Okay, give me one sec, let me get the link. Copy link. Go back, here we go. Paste this in. So I'm picking two winners, one for each print, and I'm gonna be shipping these anywhere in the world, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, filter duplicate, yes. Yep, 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 okay, here we go. Get YouTube comments. Okay, we gotta wait, hold on. Oh, never mind. Here we go, here we go. Start raffle and pick random winner. Ben Shaw, oh my God, that's my brother. Uh, what do we do? Um, do I pick another? Okay, I'm gonna pick another one because that is my brother and that just seems a little bit rigged. So let's pick another one. Start. Who's it gonna be? Stylish Jamal. Okay, so Stylish Jamal, I will reach out to you and we will figure that out. So congratulations, let's go ahead and pick the next person. Here we go. Vivek Revan Revankar. So there you guys have it. Those are the two winners for the print giveaway. And yeah, that was just a thank you for a thousand subs. That means a lot. And I'm happy to be sending these to you guys. So. I will reach out to both of you and I will send those your way. Thank you guys for watching. I will be seeing you guys in the next one.